What is up YouTube and welcome to this Justice League and Flash Comics video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated here. So Justice League is just a week away, less than a week actually, because I'll be seeing it Thursday at midnight. That is the UK time, which I believe that's going to be quite early for you guys in America, but I'm doing it midnight. Then I'm going to come back, go to sleep, go to work, come home, and then do my review and possibly an Easter eggs video, guys, as well. And then I'm going to mainline the Punisher straight into my veins and then do a video of that and an Easter egg video as well. So, Justice League, there, I'm excited, but there is one thing which has been really curious throughout, and that is the kind of the prologue or the f the flashback, what call it what you want, in Justice League, and that has very curiously given us a, an insight into what life was like pr before, kind of everything on Earth, before the kind of the fall of the old gods and things like that. But what we what we're getting is the first invasion of Apocalypse forces, which is going to be really really cool, and that will then lead to them being defeated and the rumor is we're going to see quite a lot of different races here and that could actually mean lanterns as well as thanagarians which i think is going to be freaking awesome to see and it seems like going by the if we go by the track listing for the soundtrack we may actually get that about halfway through. So I predicted or thought it would be a prologue scene. So we've had the Man of Steel prologue. We had the Batman versus Superman prologue kind of as well, which was set about the same time as Man of Steel during the battle at the end. And we also sort of had a Wonder Woman prologue as well, kind of. But what I'm expecting here is that this will be kind of pockmarked flashbacks throughout, just like what we saw with the flashbacks in Suicide Squad, where we saw the life of crime that each character led before this before the the squad was actually formed. But it does look like that in this or after this battle, we actually have the forces have mother boxes which were used and they are given to each race on earth and they are of course the amazonians the humans and the, the atlanteans and those things are left in the possession of each of these races you can see that one of them is on themiscaria one is of course in atlantis and we're we know now that the one on earth is actually going to be used to create cyborg and cyborg is kind of actually the earth the the human for the human mother box so that's quite cool there and well now we we knew that that's all the information we knew but ben affleck has actually confirmed that why they are so important we know of course that these things are stupidly powerful but he has said that once you combine the three mother boxes they form what's called the unity a force that is pure power used to conquer worlds. Fortunately, these things don't exist in real life, of course, but they're a part of the DC universe, a you know, problem for the Justice League. So that's really, really cool. There, that he's confirmed that these things will, f these, these ones that we have on Earth will form together, and they are a stupidly powerful force. And this is no doubt why Steppenwolf wants to come and get these. Why these are so important. So what I expect is that Steppenwolf will actually come to Earth, steal the one from Themyscira, take the one from Atlantis and try and get the one of cyborg and cyborg was also quite integral in the original the justice league origin of new 52 where the same thing happened to him the mother box was used to save his life and he was able to transport people to apocalypse and things like that now what is going to be what i expect here is that he will take all three of these boxes form them together and then start terraforming the planet so it will resemble apocalypse and things like that so I think that is really, really cool. And Ben Affleck has also confirmed that the the sequel, what the franchise, it, he says that now the Justice League is together, we have these stories that we can finally tell without being encumbered with setting up the backstory. We've done all that, so now we get to enjoy the adventures of this group of heroes 
as they take on the world. So that's quite cool. That means that once the setup is done, they can now go on brand new adventures together. And what I'm hoping is that they will be a proper fighting force. Now, I was a bit disappointed with the Avengers in the fact that they kind of come together, they disband, and then they come back together and it, it, it gets messy and then they were, they were... But that's the story they wanted to tell. I, I was hoping that they would be a proper fighting force together. But in the later ones, they actually do. Under the tutelage of Captain America, we actually get our sort of new Avengers. So there is that. And that is really quite cool that they kind of work together and they are a base but it's not like the avengers we got in the first film so it's it's kind of weird they're kind of not the avengers but they are but here in justice league i guess the team will work together and they will stay together and be a proper force which i think is cool and next up we actually have something which i'll bring to you from the comics now if you have not been reading dc rebirth shame on you it is really really good but in a brief catch-up, we actually had the Reverse Flash Earbud Thorn return and take over the proper mantle of the Reverse Flash. And while fighting Barry Allen, he actually transfers the negative speed force into Barry Allen to show that he can be corrupted too. And it is just, you're only really one bad day or whatever away from actually becoming evil. And, well, Barry actually used these powers to fight Reverse Flash. And finally, Eobard Thorne was actually scared of Barry Allen. And then Iris West shoots him. And then Iris West and Barry Allen actually end up kind of splitting up. They, they kind of... She's angry that he's not been truthful with him, telling him that he is the Flash. But, meanwhile, we actually have the return of Mina Dewan. Mina Dewan was a love interest of Barry Allen in the early days of DC Rebirth when the Speed Force Storm hits and creates a whole lot of new speedsters. And presumably, we, we thought that she was killed, but she has survived and is an agent of Black Hole. And she pops up in a Flash outfit again and talks to Barry and convinces him that the negative Speed Force is actually killing him. And here she returns double crosses him and steals the negative force from him and becomes brand new reverse flash she has the negative speed force so that is really really big here now time will only tell if she actually officially becomes a reverse flash i was i'm really glad that mina is back i really did like her character in the comics i was a bit gutted when she died and i was interested when she popped up again as the kind as an agent of black hole so it's quite big here that we've got this negative speed force stolen by Mina and it was really only a matter of time before she would return. And I would like to see her on the Flash TV show as well. But let me know what you think, guys. What do you think about the reverse Flash being Mina Dewan? Do you think that she will be the proper kind of character here? And what are their aims with stealing this negative speed force? What do Black Hole want? So that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. I'll see you soon and goodbye.